Yo, what is up guys, you W Sneaks here, and today guys, for this video I'm bringing you a story time, and this, well I've actually, I actually tried to make this story time the day after it happened to me, but I didn't have my phone, I couldn't record, but it's been like about three weeks already, or a month, since this happened to me, but I'm sorry guys that I haven't posted, I just haven't had time to really just record or anything but yeah um, this story time it's pretty crazy and I'm pretty sure none of y'all know but um, I I recently not recently like last December I bought a dirt bike since I've always wanted a dirt bike or I really wanted a go-kart but you know they're too expensive so I ended up getting a dirt bike and you know I'll, they didn't know how to use it at first. It was gears, 150 cc, and um, you know after after a couple of months, I, now I'm an expert on it. Like I know every single detail and everything about it. Just and actually, the second day I ended up crashing. So this, yeah. So this um, this was when I was with my cousin King Gamer, EW King Gamer, well King Gamer. But, so it was just a normal day, he was spending the night at my house, and we were staying home alone, and he, like, we were bored, so we went, so we just went out to ride, both of us on the dirt bike, and we ended up finding this little spot under a freeway, um, it was full of sand, and I was just doing donuts all around, and I didn't have, we didn't have our phones, so we couldn't record, so he told me, let's go back to the house and get, get our phones, and... The house really wasn't that far from the from the bridge under the freeway. So we got back, got our phones, and we were already on our way. And guys, right before we got to under the bridge, there's a little road to get under the bridge. Right before we got there, uh, we get we stop at the stop sign and the cop just passes. It's like a T, it's the T T intersection. But the cop passes straight and we're just at the stop sign. They look at us. We look at them. And I don't know, guys. Like, uh, you know, bike life. You don't fuck with cops and shit. But, yeah, so I seen them. And as soon as I seen them, I took off. But I didn't think they were going to follow us. So, for like, for two whole streets. And the street, the streets at my neighborhood, they're long as heck. So, for two whole streets, I just took off and I didn't see them. And it was not until the third street when we were in the middle of it. That I turn around and I see the cops and they had their lights on and bro we were going at least the the re the regular speed that we we're going was like at least 30 and the top speed was like around 50 but yeah so we we're going pretty fast and they're catching they were at the end we were in the middle they were at the end of the street when I seen them I turn again behind when we we're at the end of the street and bro they're right behind us and they didn't have their light their sounds on they just had their sirens on so like i didn't know what to do and i panicked and i just kept on going it and i went into this big old road i was just taking off and then like five minutes later that's when they turn on the sirens and i'm like what the hell what did they want us to do and i was panicking now that i think of it i should have just stopped they're just probably gonna tell me give me a warning or something but i didn't so i ended up um just keep on going i panicked and we were on this this street that had a lot of road bumps because it was in the school. It was next to a school, and and since me and him were on it, we both man on every little bump, on every single bump. Since we we're going flying past, bro, the bike went at least like three feet up, and especially my cousin King Gamer, he went flying up and back into the seat. I honestly thought we were gonna like slide or something when we got to those bumps, but. But I, like I said, I knew my neighborhood and I knew how to do the dirt bike. But if I was by myself, I don't. I, it probably would have been different. I probably would have stopped or I would have got away faster or something. But now, nah. so we're just. I was like thinking of where to go, and then I remember there's this little trail in a big old ditch that it leads out to another main street. So we were pretty much driving, trying driving around the whole neighborhood, and this whole time they're behind us, like. Behind us, just following us until we until we um got to this this um by the school 
since the school has a big old yard, we just passed through that. And we were on, I was gonna literally gonna go straight past my house, but I was like, nah, what if they know and neighbors snitch or something? So we're going, right? And we're at the street. I, I pretended to stop, like, I was just playing around because I've seen a lot of videos, but I pretended to stop and the cops, I'm not even lying, the cops yell out, get off the fucking bike. They yell that like at least two times. I hear that bro, I got even more scared. And my cousin can get me, he wasn't even scared, he was over there. He was there laughing, flicking him off and everything. And I was just like, I was trying to get out and yeah. So I got even more, I panicked even more and I just took off. And on the last two streets that we were on, that's when the cops really tried to get in front of us. They tried to get us off the road, tried to hit us, man. On every single corner, I was scared because I was going so fast. And I had to slow down or else we are going to hit. But yeah. So we ended up get, eventually getting to the ditch. And man, that's when I felt relieved. The cops could not get into the ditch because it was only like, they, couldn't, they just couldn't get up there. And they're just looking at us like, man, like, they're like, Man, there goes our big old paycheck. And I know that's how they are. I know that's how cops are, especially with their bikes. And we just took off. And I knew my neighborhood. And good thing I, I've explored the whole place. If not, we would have really got caught. But yeah, so we ended up leaving. And we got into these roads. These main streets. And we ended up going to another neighborhood. And to another ditch. And that's where we were hiding there for like 30 minutes. We were just thinking of what to do, calling people, seeing if I, we could come over. But like, some of my friends were like, nah, I just can't do it. They won't even answer and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, we eventually, we eventually um got a hold of my King Gamer's uncle's number. And I, I knew of an abandoned house that we could go that. I'm pretty sure no one would be at, but I didn't know if the cops were gonna see us. Cause in the neighborhood we were at, it was pretty bad. And cops were always around. And we took off, we went, we were lost for like a good 10 minutes. Cause I didn't really know the neighborhood. And I was like, wait, where the hell is the, where's the neighborhood? Where's the abandoned house? And we finally got there and we we're kind of relieved. We called them up and he was like, he's coming. And we we're really relieved, man. And it took him about like 20 minutes for him to get here. And every, we heard sirens, we actually heard sirens. And we were panicking, we were hiding and everything. And then he finally came, we picked it up. He was like, he was like in a, a truck with a work bed. We took it up in there. And we're, I didn't want to take it back to my house. So I ended up taking it back to my grandpa's, grandparents' house and we left it there. But yeah, I actually texted a couple of friends that live in my neighborhood close to me. I was like, check if there's cops outside, go around. And especially one homegirl that that lived literally right by where we got away from. I told her, she was like, bro, there's a lot of cops. And she even recorded two videos. I'll see if I could get them in here. Two videos of the cops coming out of the place where I was at. And she, everyone was talking about it. I didn't even know until like a day later that everyone knew. They were like, bro, we heard sirens. We heard... We heard this and that, and there's actually people recording us. People recording us, bro. I was laughing. So yeah, that was that was a pretty crazy time, man. Now that I think of it, I kind of regret it, cause now I can't even use my dirt bike. I'm thinking about selling it, but I got a four wheeler. I'm thinking even about making a like, new channel for my dirt bike, you know. But yeah, it was a pretty crazy day, pretty crazy story. But like I said, I hope y'all guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. If so, really appreciate it. Peace.